welcome to Frequency Trees. Um, just before we start, a reminder that there is a notes chapter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link. You can get the worksheet and you can work along with me as we go through the video. Okay, so before we start um, with the question, I just want to uh, quickly explain what a frequency tree is. Um, basically, it's a way of categorizing people if we are splitting them into more than one um, set of groups. So uh, with the question that we have here, um, a class of 30 students are asked to state how they get to school on a morning. Of these students, eight girls said they walked, nine boys get the bus, and there are the same number of boys and girls. Now, obviously, this means that we are uh, splitting up the class into boys and girls, and then from there, deciding whether they walk or get the bus to school. And so the frequency tree is there for us to, um, to split the groups up into little individual categories. And so um, the first thing that we need to do with the frequency tree, frequency means uh, the number of times it happens. Therefore, the very first part is we were told there were 30 students. And so the first value in our um, frequency tree is always the total number of people that we've started with. Now, what we're then going to do, it splits off, which means we're going to uh, break down the 30, uh, the 30 students into the number of boys and the number of girls. Now, we can go through the list in order that can help, or we can look at it in different ways. I'm going to go one step at a time. Eight girls said they walked, and therefore we need to be in the girls section and the walk section. There are eight girls who walk, therefore this bubble will be eight and we can take that off it says nine boys get the bus okay so um, we are in the boys section getting the bus and that is nine we can give that a tick the last part says there are the same number of boys and girls well that tells me that if there were 30 boys uh, sorry 30 students if i half that i'll have the same number of boys and girls so half of 30 is 15. Now, the issue here is we've got these two blank bubbles, but they aren't blank for very long because all we need to think of here is if there were 15 boys and nine took the bus, then that means that the rest of them must have walked. And so the remaining uh, students who are boys will have walked, which is six. Same situation with the girls here. We know there are 15 girls in total, eight of them walk, and therefore the rest get the bus and it's seven. And so we've completed what we've been asked. Now frequency trees are used generally um, in order to find some probabilities. And so we're gonna use the same frequency tree that we've just produced in order to answer a few questions on that topic. And so the first one is one of the students is chosen at random. What is the probability that they walk to school? So the first thing to look at here just says one of the students. And so that means we are dealing with the original 30 people. All of them are a possibility. And so for our probability, it's going to be out of 30. What is the probability that they walk to school? That's the key here. How many students actually walk? Well, we've got six students who are male, six, uh, sorry, eight who are female, and so bring those back together and we have 14 students. So there are 14 students who walk out of 30 in total. That would be absolutely fine. If we wanted to, we could simplify that. We'll half both numbers. Let's call it seven out of 15. If we get rid of that and we go to our next question, one of the students is chosen at random. What is the probability that they are a girl who gets the bus? So um, again, one of the students is chosen at random. So because we are dealing with, um, uh, dealing with just the students, again, this is out of 30. Despite the fact that it tells us information here about it being a girl and getting the bus, that doesn't change the bottom here because what we are looking for are how many are girls who get the bus. So we're only looking at the bottom now, out of the 15 girls getting the bus, well, there are seven, and therefore the probability of it being a girl who gets the bus is seven out of 30. And that one, we can't simplify. The last section, one of the students is chosen at random. 
Given that they walk to school, what is the probability that they are a boy? Now this phrase is important. We've been told given that they walk to school. What that means is we are looking at only the students who walk. And so there are eight girls and there are six boys. That means there are 14 students who walk. And so this time our probability is only out of 14. What is the probability that they are a boy? Well, having a look at the two groups that we've just, uh, just marked, six of them are boys. And so it's six out of 14, which again, we could simplify three out of seven. Okay, so our next task um, is basically the situation where we have to actually decide what, how do we go about solving this problem? We've got 100 members of a tennis club were asked if they played football or rugby. Of the members surveyed, 60 were men, 18 of the 45 who play football were women. One member is selected at random. Given that they play rugby, calculate the probability that they are a woman. Now, here, my little indication that I should be drawing a frequency, uh, frequency tree is that I know all of the people who are involved and then within those, uh, within those people, I know they are being split into one set of categories, men or women, but also categories of playing football or rugby. So each of them have been split into gender first and then into uh, the different sports that they play. And so it will create a frequency tree like this. First of all, splitting the people up into men and women, and then within each of those categories, splitting them into football or rugby. And so all I want to do is make my way through the information in order to fill in the gaps. So first of all, there are 100 members. So the first thing that I can say is this bubble must be 100. And 60 were men. So this bubble must be 60. And then it says 18 of the 45 who play football were women. So the first thing to uh, take here is the 18. They are women who play football. So out of the women, 18 play football. And that's the first piece of information. But the second part of it is also important. There are 45 who play football. And so if 18 of them were women, the remainder must have been men. And so 45 take away 18 is 27. And so there are 27 men who play football. How do we work out the rest of this information? Well, it all comes down to what do we already know? We know there were 100 people and 60 of them were men. So the remainder must be women, 40 women. We know that there are 60 men and 27 play football. So the remainder must play rugby. So 60 take away 27 is 33. 40 women, 18 of which play football. The rest must play rugby. So 40 take away 18 is 22. And that would give us our full frequency tree. But it hasn't yet finished the final question. It said, given that they play rugby, calculate the probability that they are a woman. So the first thing I need to know here is, because it's given that they play rugby, I want to know how many people play rugby. Well, 33 men and 22 women. So in total, 55 people play rugby. So that is what my probability is going to be out of. It asked, what is the probability that they are a woman? Well, the women are 22. So 22 out of 55. Now this one can be simplified. They're both in the 11 times table. And so we could just call that two fifths. And so we end with our exam question. It came from the Edexcel paper in November 2017 and it was foundation paper two. Now on that note, as it's paper two, that means we can use a calculator if you want to. Um, so if you're not too comfortable doing the uh, subtractions required, then just use a calculator for it. That's absolutely fine. Um, so we have 200 people live in a village. 23 people do not have a garden. 10 males do not have a garden. 95 people are male. 
use this information to complete the frequency tree. Well, the first piece, uh, piece of information has already been uh, put in, that there are 200 people in the village. So the next part, 23 people do not have a garden. So that is the first criteria that we're actually separating into, people who don't have a garden and people who do. So 23 do not. So we can fill in this bubble as 23 straight away. It says that 10 males do not have a garden. So of the 23 who do not have a garden, 10 of them are male. We can take that off. And then finally, 95 people are male. Well, we've got 10 males in this section, 95 males in total. So if I do 95 take away 10, it'll tell me how many males do have a garden. It will be 85. And that's all the information we've been given. But just because that's all we've been given doesn't mean we can't work anything else out. If I wanted to know how many females do not have a garden, well, there are 23 people without gardens and 10 of them are male. The remainder will be female, so 13. There are 200 people in the village and 23 do not have a garden. And so the rest, if I take 23 away from 200, that is 177. And we've been told that of those 177, 85 of them are males. And therefore, we have 92 who are female. That is our frequency tree completed. But then we have a question about probability. One of the people who does not have a garden is chosen at random. So this is the very first people. It's one of the people who does not have a garden. Therefore, the only ones I'm interested in are the 23 who do not have a garden. It says then, what is the probability that this person is female? Well, of the 23 people who do not have a garden, 13 are female, and that is our probability. That can't be simplified, but again, if, as it's a calculated question, you could check that, but 13 over 23 is the final answer.